Alerts Blake Alert. Hey guys, this is Mark with MHTAlerts.com, and today is July 21st, 2013, Sunday, Central Time. Now you take a look at an earthquake. This is an earthquake alert. This is an earthquake that hasn't been marked yet because it just occurred, a 6.9 magnitude earthquake near the coast of New Zealand. This is an underwater earthquake, and, and uh, right now there's no reports of any tsunamis, warnings, or watches, or advisories at this time, but uh, coastal areas should be on alert. This 6.9 magnitude earthquake occurred here according to the USGS within the past hour, and the location in the epicenter is 41.775 degrees south, 174.545 degrees east, and the depth on this one was 10.1 kilometers. I'm just going to make a real quick comment here. The earthquakes, the big earthquakes that make the news, I will post it on the MHT Alerts uh, YouTube channel only because the other channel is not getting that very many views. Uh, with the earthquakes, so there's not as many subscribers. So I will be putting the latest news on big earthquakes right here on the MHG Alert site still. Taking a look at the tsunami.gov, if we go back here, I was just looking at the updated warnings. No tsunami warnings, advisories, or watches are in effect, but if you clicked on the text area for the Pacific Ocean for the latest on this uh, 6.9 event, it says that no destructive widespread tsunami threat exists based on historical earthquake and tsunami data. However, earthquakes in this size can generate local tsunamis that can be destructive along coastlines located within 100 kilometers of the earthquake epicenter. So for those of you who are in the area, you may want to keep watch on your local news just in case, but I think we're in the all clear for right now. But I do believe we need to watch this over the next couple of weeks, this particular area in New Zealand. Uh, they don't need a big earthquake right now. They're still recovering from the other one. Uh, that uh, damaged an all land earthquake. It was a giant 5.9. Again, this area does not need another earthquake, but we're looking at it and I'm going to keep a watch on it over the next few weeks. I might even put this sign on condition blue. If any more earthquakes above a 4.9 or higher continue to occur as an earthquake swarm, that will probably be considered earthquake swarm and condition blue. So, once again, folks, stay alert on this one. If you're in New Zealand, keep watch on this. And I'll definitely keep you posted the best information that I can if I can do a video for you. Once again, stay alert, be cool. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day.